um hey 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 welcome back to another video are you subscribed i feel like that's the first thing i'm gonna say every time i welcome you to a video are you subscribed if you're not please subscribe and yes i'm wearing a vest i just finished recording as you can see i normally don't start off my vlogs with a full face of makeup on but I normally I just finished recording two sit down videos and now I'm starting a vlog and this vlog is going to start out with a grocery haul. I picked up some groceries, just a couple of things because I want to be filming a uh, what I eat in a day this week sometime a few days from now and uh, I needed to pick up a couple of things. I really want to take this makeup off. It is going on five. It's 20 to five. I've only had like a smoothie today and I had it around one or two. I'm really, really hungry. I'm famished at this point. And I went to the gym, came back, showered, uh, recorded. And now I want to show you what I got from Woolies and then probably gonna close off this point of the vlog. I'll probably continue the vlog tomorrow. Who knows, but I wanted to share with you what I got because I know you guys love this stuff. Love the stuff. So I picked up some mandarin juice and I really, really wanted to try it out because mandarins are quite delicious um, and it's a freshly squeezed. And I, oh, I also picked it up because of uh, my smoothies. When I make my smoothies, I often add freshly squeezed orange juice, but because they didn't have any, I picked up the mandarin juice, and I really hope it works well. I'm gonna definitely try it out. Uh, I'll probably have it with some dinner again tonight. We'll see how that goes. I'll taste it, and then we'll see. Um, also picked up these cute but expensive yogurts, but I, I really wanted to try them. I've always seen them and I really wanted to try them. And I figured that one of them could be part of the what I eat in a day. Gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that. But uh, you have this one, which is the uh, double cream granadilla yogurt. And then you have this one, which is the double cream blueberry yogurt. So definitely wanna try these out, possibly insert it in a vlog later on this week. Got some guac because uh, I tend to get lazy sometimes to do avocado and toast and sometimes I'll do it with guac. But I also maybe want to feature it in a video this week. I've got some ideas but working on it, working on it. Um, and then also picked up some panko crumbed ch chicken breast fillets. That's what these look like. They look amazing. Okay, they look amazing. Okay, so pick those up. But the dinner for this week, this is the reason why I went into Woolies. I had run out of salmon. So I went and picked up the honey glazed salmon. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not going to cook it today. I really am famished and I want to record that whole process. So John says, I'm not going to cook it today. I'm not going to cook today. I'm not going to cook today. And then we've got milk in the back here. I'm sure you can see the milk. Right, just two of the milk because I was lazy to pick the whole six. Um, and then vegetables, I got spring rolls. I buy spring rolls every week because I add spring rolls to everything, whatever I'm eating. Um, also got the sweet and crunchy vegetables from Woolies. If you um, buy veggies at Woolies, you will be familiar with everything I'm showing you. Uh, got the petite leaf. It's like a vibrant shoots which you can add to salads. Got that. And for that, that's going to be for the dinner, for the salmon uh, dinner later on. So make sure you're subscribed, okay? And yeah, for this, I'm going to add it with this. Um, this is the uh, baby spinach, rocket, and watercress salad. I'm going to add these to that and make a nice salad with the salmon. Also, what's going to go with the salmon is this. Where is it? Asparagusi. So this is asparagus. Really love it. Woolies asparagus is quite expensive. I really was upset that I'm buying the asparagus, but hey. What I am running out of is my favorite tea. So I had to pick up the uh, organic green tea, which is what I drink every day. I probably like drink that five times a week seven days a week and I drink it probably like three or four times a day yeah and then also picked up spinach because 
that's how I make my smoothies. That's pretty much what I picked up. It really isn't much. It's just stuff for the what I eat in a day. If I wasn't going to do a what I eat in a day, I probably would have just picked up the, the spinach and the spring onion and the tea. That's probably all I would have picked up, but... It is what it is. I'm doing the stuff for you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to pack the stuff away. Um, i just put it here so that you can see what I bought. And then I will pack it away. A couple of days later if I'm not mistaken it's probably about four or five days later it is um, Mother's Day today today's Mother's Day and if you've been following me for a while uh, you'll know that my mom passed away long ago about 11 years ago um, but they are motherly and matriarch pillars in my life so come Mother's Day I've got a few stops to make <laughs> so it is eight o'clock right now I'm gonna rush out pop into the Woolies because I've got four bouquets of flowers to buy and um, and um, yeah I gotta drop them off but of course the first uh, point of call is to go visit my mom uh, who is now resting at a graveyard but I, I always do this every Mother's Day I'm going to bring you into my life a little bit about what I do on Mother's Day. Uh, it's first my mom and then it's my mom's sister who is, and she's my everything. She's my everything and she just took on that reign of, you know, being my mom. And she's a reminder of my mom every time I look at her. Um, so I'm going to take you there as well. And then after that is my grandmother, of course. <laughs> the matriarch of the whole family of the whole people and then it is my stepmom so four people that i need to go and see and pop in and i'm gonna go into woolies buy some of their favorite things including flowers and then yeah gonna spend my day with me as i go from this person to this person to this person and then after that at the end of the day i will sit down with you and talk a little bit more about my mom and show you some pictures <laughs> but for now got all the flowers here that's the morning sun very very strong uh we've got all the flowers here and i've got the little goodies in paper bags there at the bottom now we're gonna drive and go yeah do a pit stop at all of these ladies houses including where my mom is resting now and then that's how i'm gonna spend pretty much my day Yeah, so I just left my my mom's resting place. I haven't left. I'm actually still here. And uh, I just want to take a minute. Because, um, of course, I miss my mother. And two days like this are often uh, quite difficult for us without mothers. Um, so I wanted to take this moment to say to all of you who do not have mothers, um, whether you lost your mother at an early age, whether you don't have a mother, whether your mother gave up on you, whatever, 
take heed and take heart. Mothers are a beautiful thing. Mothers are our pillars. Mothers are our givers of life. Mothers are friends and they grow us and they nurture us. Mothers just make shit okay, you know, even when shit is not okay. And I feel like for me, the biggest memory of my mom was when um, I was sick and she would just always make things okay. Doesn't matter how sick I was, doesn't matter what I was sick with, she would always make things okay. And uh, I feel like those are the times when I need her the most. When I've got a lot of questions and concerns and, you know, I wish that she would be there to advise me. But. <sighs> and to all the mothers and to all those who couldn't be mothers, like myself, you know, the mothers of the sleeping babies. Yeah, to all of us. We'll be all right. Our time will come. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the next pit stop, which is my aunt, my mother's sister. Let us go. And do the shit. Doesn't want to start. All right, let's go. Everybody. You guys remember me? Do you see how short I am? I'm the oldest out of these guys. I'm the oldest. Look at these giants. By like a year or two, guys. Yeah. By like <laughs> seven, eight, even ten at this stage. Can't even fit me. Say hi to to my YouTube people. Sha. Hi. That's my brother. That's my brother. Because like there's like a million of us at home. <laughs> okay, bye. Can you guys see me? Wow. So I'm at my parents' house now. And uh, I went to my grandmother's house. I didn't show that. I don't think I should. I'll do the snaps. I did take a couple of snaps, um, uh, so I'll add them here. But I'm currently at my parents' house. Um, just gonna chill with them for a little bit before I leave and head home. And uh, yeah, had a good time. Had a really, really emotional day. My grandmother knitted a blanket for me and all of that. I'll show you all those things a little bit later. Sorry? It's my father. It's my dad. It's my dad. It's my daddy. Okay. Hi. About 220. Look at that. So, what's the story? Girl, <laughs> say hi to, hi, hi to the people. Hi. What you want to say to them? Did you know that my birthday is at the 18th of August? Really? When's my birthday? I am. Yes. Uh, 7th of June. That's right. That's right, sister. In other news, by the bar, <laughs> who's this guy? Do we have a name for this guy? That guy there. Um, I think I'm gonna call him John, John Paul Gutierrez. John Paul Gutierrez. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at this. How great is this idea? So these are candles that were made from the Vavagaku. Yeah, and they bottles. smell great. Do they smell great? Mm. Can I smell it? How do you know how they do it? How do, oh, they smell good. Yeah, it does. Huh? Okay, I'm not gonna say. How do they do it? No, it's fine. I'm not gonna show you, but how do they do it? No, they, they do drums. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. We got. The drums that are left over. They, yeah. They do, it's a blend. Yeah. Of a lot of drums. Yes. Yeah, and then they do that. It comes out every, I think, it's a couple of years. Really? Yeah, it's not like every year. And we got the second one of these. Wow! Oh, good. <laughs> I will. I'll do it. We got the second one of these. We got okay. two of these. Okay. And this was already been using. Okay. And what else do you want to show me? Like, we got these two. The corks! 
Now, this is an interesting story. This is a lot of corks. Yeah, we have a keychain cork. One keychain cork. Where is it? Show me the keychain cork, sis. Okay. So this is the I'm going to go get it. It's this is where it all goes down. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. All right, let me go out. Mm -mm. Here's the chain cork. The chain cork? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's over here. From the Pepsi. bottle? It's over here. Hmm? It's over here, Pepsi. Oh, okay. Oh, it is. It is a chain cork. I mean, it's a cork chain. Keychain. Ah. Good job, G. Wow. Where did you find this? Uh, I don't know. So, this is what I got. It's really cute. Just go a little lower so it doesn't cut off your head. So, so I got this. Really? So, just press Okay, mind you, the camera's on, so I can't say ever. So, maybe you can switch it off. Yeah. Can you switch it off? And so bye. Say bye. Bye. Tell them that we wanna we wanna skin her. What? We wanna skin her. Say skin her. Skinner. 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 Bye. Bye. I just got back home from um spending some time with my loved ones today. I didn't manage to get all the footage that I wanted on the camera, however, I'm going to place what I got on my phone and what I put on Instagram and all of that here so that you guys can see how I spent my day. But for the most part, I'm back. The mamas are happy. I sent them what they needed to, you know. Uh, it is cold. I am still in my sweats. But I came back from home and my father decided to give me a couple of bottles of wine. So I wanted to share that with you because I don't know. Not only that, my grandmother my grandmother knitted me a nice little small blanket that I can put on my feet when it's cold, as well as a hat. I want to show you that because I'm my grandmama's favorite. <laughs> None of them have what I have. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? None of them are special like me. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, today was actually an amazing day. My hair is looking like a tip, but please don't judge me. It's the end of the day. Um, I'm going to show you these wines. Now, these are the wines that I typically drink when I'm at home with my family and the wines that I typically buy for here in the house. Um, but uh, my father decided to be... My father is extra nice today. I don't even know why. Um, but yeah, I went and I surprised my family members, my matriarchs, and, um, you know, bought them some flowers and some goodies and all of that, you know, all their favorite things. Um, my grandmother really loves uh, Madeira cake and nougat and all of that. So I bought her flowers and then a little goodie box of Madeira cake and nougat and all of that. My aunt loves uh, Ferrero Rocher chocolates. And uh, she also really, really enjoys a good hot cross bun. <laughs> She's weird, like me. Uh, a good hot cross bun along with a some other things. I also got her those brownie things from um, Woolies. And then my stepmom loves lint chocolate and uh, also those uh, brownie goodies things from Woolies. So I got them that. So everybody had a little bit like of a bouquet of flowers and a goodie bag and uh, dropped all of those off. And then when I was at home, my father was like, you know what, take a couple of bottles of wine. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you, you mean? So I really want to make myself a nice glass of red right now. But let me show you what kind of wines we have, just in case you are a wine lover and uh, or you're trying to get into wine. These are some of the wines that we drink when we're at home. These are like the everyday wines. The more expensive ones, like your Villa Fontes and your Magna Cartas, those we have more on special occasions, but uh, the, this is what we typically have all the time. I go so, home. So these are the wines. He gave me a box. He gave me a box of four wines because he's kind of cool like that. Uh, one of our favorite whites at home is this one, Cartology. Um, this is by Chris and Suzanne Alhit. 
think. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Handmade, matured, and bottled by Chris and Suzanne. Um, uh, Chenin Blanc. It's 80% Chenin and 14% uh, Samillion. Samillion. And uh, yeah, really, really good. It's a Cape variety. So we love that. This is a good one. But this thing is strong. Don't play like that. Don't play like that. Um, yeah, so that's a blend. We love that. And a really good red that's really, really full and bold and very robust, which is this one. It's a really good one. It's not really, you don't, you don't find it much um, unless you're really looking hard for it. You really don't find it much. Instead, you'll probably find like a Rubicon or something like that. Um, but this is beautiful. This is the Mere Last Red and uh, 2019. It's a good bottle. And then uh, the every everyday wine. This is what we typically have a lot of stock of at home. A lot of stock. The people at home really love wine. So my father decided to include another two of the Paul Kluver Belgian wines. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. Very, very, very good. And then this just I pretty much stacked everything here. This today was a really nice day. I got some nice gifts, I won't lie. So this is the blanket that my grandmother knitted for me. I'll show you a picture of me wearing it along with a matching hat. We absolutely love it. She sits and she knits when she's bored or she reads. Uh, I normally get her books by Daniel Steele. She's a fan of Daniel Steele. So yeah, she knitted this for me. Beautiful. The colors are just so nice. They remind me of her story colors. Um, they're just so lovely. So she got me that. And uh, my stepmom and I have a pachance. <laughs> we have a love of mugs. So this one is dirty because I was drinking coffee and uh, I came home drinking the coffee. Not, not safe, kind of dangerous. But I came home drinking, finishing it off. So yeah, she got these. One says offline <laughs> and then the other one says breathe. Really, really pretty coffees. Mugs, coffee mugs. Really, really pretty. And then when I went home, right across from my mother's house, um, where my gran is currently, uh, is my best friend's place, Dinelle. And Dinelle saw me and she was like, hey, I baked for you. So she baked some soft cookies for me. Um, yeah, there's some more in there. And there's some more in there. But yeah. So on this wall, which is typically where it's in the office, as you can see, I have a little collage. I'm still going to make it perfect. I'll work on this. But pictures of my mother growing up. And I love her. Because when I, of course I do, this one is skew, as you can see. It's driving me up the wall. Um, so when I sit here and read sometimes, I love the fact that I feel like she's right next to me. So, um, yeah, these are pictures of my mom when she was growing up. This was at school. They were wearing traditional attire. If I remember correctly here, she was going to a wedding, something I don't know. That's my mama. I mean, she's cute. She's cute, Nev Dang. I don't know. She's cute, Nev Dang. Um, again, another one at school. She used to dress up a lot. One of the things that I love about my mom is she used to dress up a lot. And that's her in a dress and pretty attire. Looking all pretty, yeah. But... That's it for me, man. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed your Mother's Day, wherever you are, to all the mothers, to all the ones, the mothers who are trying to be mothers, to the mothers who never got the chance to hold their babies in their arms, to the mothers we have lost, to the mothers we have, to the matriarchs we have gained, and to everybody. I hope you guys had a beautiful day because this will go up after mother's day so i hope you guys had a beautiful day and i hope you were cherished and shown so much love and grace because we know that through you we are who we are we thank you to all these mothers and to those who are trying to be mothers we pray for you and we pray that your wishes come true and you hold the little baby up in them hands. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show it some love. Please subscribe. Join the family. We're trying to get to 20,000 by June. I don't know. But we're, we're trying to get there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.